Hey, everybody. Welcome to Lexicon Part 6. Uh, this is Part 6 of a very long series where I create eight paintings that all began from slot boards. And I know I've told you that before, uh, but in this video, what I, I'm going to be doing is a lot of collage. And not everybody likes collage. Not everybody likes to get sticky fingers, uh, messy fingers, whatever. Um, I, I usually use gloves when I work with collage. And one of the reasons I really like it is because you can get differing thicknesses of paper, which leads to differing types of uh, differing types of texture. So um, in my Art Success Master's course, we talk about the two types of texture. There's physical texture and there's visual texture. Well, when I use collage paper, I'm actually using physical texture and I get to decide how thick or thin the papers are. And there are some things that you need to know working with collage. Uh, the adhesive needs to match the thickness of your paper. So if your paper is thicker like cardstock, you're going to need a more heavy duty adhesive like gel medium, for example. If it's super thin, then obviously you can use some gloss medium or matte medium. It doesn't have to be the gel. So I match the adhesive with the thickness of the paper. You'll see that in this video, and I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Uh, it lets me know that you're interested in my videos and that you like to learn about abstraction and art. I love to teach it. I love to share what I learn. And uh, you can ask any question below my video. I'll try to answer it. So I want to thank you for uh, watching this video, and uh, I appreciate your comments. Let me know if you do collage. I'd love to know. Okay, so here we go with part six of my lexicon series. I hope you enjoy it. I'll use this edge here to go up. Doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. So that's one shape I'm going to cut out. And for the straight line. Save the scraps, just never know, they might come in handy. And get this guy here. The rest of should be cut by hand. scissors one, but it's okay. So choose these. Get 
Ooh, this is kind of a cool shape right here. <laughs> Just noticed that that could come into play. Never know. Okay. Here's that letter, and you can see how um, it's just so much less saturated than what's there. It's kind of bizarre right now, but um, I'll put this on my gel medium. It's probably too much. Can I say it more? So in this case, I've got the shape here. Uh, outlined with the white pencil so I know where the gel medium has to go. It's just easier to apply it to the board and make sure I've got plenty of it. It's an easy shape to place. So I just want to be really generous because this is a pretty thick paper. It's cardstock, scrapbook paper, and you know it needs a little bit of help making sure that it's not going to lift up and all that. So and be pretty generous with that and then follow my lines up here and the white line it's kind of disappeared a bit lift that up squish it down cover my lid and again i don't want to go over the top with the gel medium i just want to make sure that it's really secured on there so i'll take my So you want to lift. There is some residual gel medium on the parchment, but it will dry. And then just you know, wipe up a little bit of this excess here off the edge. And here. Just don't need it there. There, that's a firmly adhered shape. All right, so that's progress. And now I want to check and come and uh, allow this. Now I've got the negative shape really well defined. And I could come in with any color. Let's see here. Use my little bit of an angular brush here. You can kind of see how it's got an angle to it. I don't often use this brush, but let me try it. I think I'll grab some of this pure color here, this cad red, and hopefully see where. I do like to kind of switch between the positive and negative, and it doesn't even mean that I won't maybe put on a shape later that is more in the positive for that number five, but for now, I'm working on preserving some of that ink painting. Okay, so kind of see how that's shaping up there. Um, all right, now I've got that red. And I've got other pieces here. I've got all kinds of pieces here that were kind of fun. Cool. Um, this word is like musings, which I love, and it, it fits that palette beautifully, as you can see. So <clears throat> kind of was thinking it'd be fun to incorporate that in there somewhere. Maybe it'll come down here like that. So there's this vertical pull. <clears throat> and then a turn up, why not? 
Um, we can overlap, say, with this or not. Not sure if that's going to come into play. And other papers here. I did use a bit of this paper in another piece. So how could that? And here's the number eight. It's red. I could go over there. It's kind of. I had a letter which cut into this piece. There's number four, there's a letter C. There's a three. That could be interesting. So I'm gonna so I'd be cutting out most, or not most, but a lot of this paper. Take probably a pencil would be best. I love to invent unusual shapes that you're not expecting. And they just kind of make you wonder like, hmm, what is that? I'm gonna cut this out and see what happens. I don't really know if it's gonna work. So these scrapbook papers I choose are not just based on color, but they're based on other things that I'm really drawn to. I like to look at maps. I don't like to follow them, but I like to look at them. I like the way they look. And um, you know, I can see that this shape is actually, but that's, um, I have to cut this out here. This might actually look better on the other board. This one. So maybe I'll save it for this one. That might make more sense. We'll just have to see. So I'll just leave that on top there. I think it looks better over there. Don't need these. Um, this has potential. This number eight. Um, I really like this word. But it, it can be off center like this. I don't really want it to line up and I don't want it to be smacked up in the center. Maybe I do. Sometimes it's fun to, to have something smacked up in the center <laughs> and say, yes, you can do that. Um, 